Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. It's been ages since I've seen you all. It's almost been 24 hours. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, this is becoming a bit too uh, frequent, isn't it? Lovely to see you all. Um, as usual, um, can you all wave your right hands if you can hear me okay? Good. Excellent. Has everybody been using the plant, the Google Lens Plant ID app today? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, I had lots of messages from people saying it was wonderful, so uh, I thought they must be all using it. Yeah, right. We so we're all here today for talk to Dr. Andrew Ward on Brilliant Borages. Um, and today's talk has been arranged by Stone and Chrysanthemum Dahlia Society. I'm just going to mute a few of you. You can unmute yourselves if you want to. Right. Okay. Only one quiz question today. So warm you all up. So generally, clematis are grouped into three groups. So if you've got the group three clematis, when do you prune it? Can I use the phone now? So we'll have the answers at the end, obviously. But there's just something for you to think about. Wave at the screen if you supplement with vitamin D. Okay, a few of you. And the ones that are waving, how many of you actually have ever been tested so you know what your actual vitamin D level is? Well, I have. Mm. I have. Yeah, a few of you, a few of you. Well done, well I done. Was. So the reason I mention it now is that um, this is probably the most perfect time to get tested because it's the lowest point of the season, end of winter, so your, your stores should be really low. And there's obviously a lot of talk and um, research being done into the link with, between vitamin D, immune system and COVID as well. Um, and also people have spent more time indoors than ever before. Um, so I thought it'd be a good idea to mention this. Now, um, it's a good idea to get yourself tested. I mean, the government advice is just to take it take supplements continuously um particularly in the northern hemisphere um where we have sort of you know mm, limited strong. exposure in the winter months uh, now if you ever do get tested um what will happen is you'll get a score from the doctor or whatever that says not to 30 or 30 to 50 um now if it's below 50 it's bad if it's below 30 it's really really bad so um i got tested a little while ago um and the doctor said oh you're fine you're okay you're in the good range and i said i want to know what my score is and he told me what the score was and it eventually he gave me a printout and it was 51 so i was borderline so i have been supplementing and obviously it's worse for me because i've got asian skin brown skin um but um, one of my friends craig uh, he's caucasian he's got white skin um and he works outdoors he's got bald head so you'd think he's got more exposure <laughs> to sunlight and guess what his score was i'll show you i'm sure you won't mind me showing it to you see that there 22 it was really really bad so the doctor prescribed him high dose injections um so obviously you know i'm quite keen on health and nutrition so i thought i'd just highlight it if you fancy getting yourself tested normally i would say go to the doctor and get it done for free um, I'm not saying that at the moment because the doctors are obviously very busy and you don't want to go and see them unnecessarily. So there's two websites you can click on to get a test. Now, these are the cheapest prices I've, I've been able to find, £29. And I would highly recommend you get yourself tested. Um, and then you can start supplementing if you haven't done that already. Vitamin D is one of the most common deficiencies in the UK. Um, now, the first website there is actually an NHS lab. So it's a good price, £29, and they sh should turn it around within a week. And it's actually based in Birmingham. The second one is actually a company and they've agreed to give uh, tender shoots a discount um, it's our first tender shoots discount code <laughs> so if you type that in you'll get a 10 percent discount so you get a single um test for 27 pounds or if you get a double kit for you and your partner you can get it for 24 pounds so yeah we've got our first discount code okie dokie right so I'm now going to uh, introduce Andrew. Uh, for those who don't know, Andrew runs Norwell Nurseries, which is based in Norwell, Newark in Nottinghamshire. Um, and Andrew's also got the dispersed national collection of Harley chrysanthemums with over 140 varieties. He's also got the national collection of Astrantias. Um, as well as the nursery, they've got a garden there as well, and the gardens are free to wander around. Um, and the garden's also been, visit, um, been listed in the Gardens to Visit book uh, twice, I think, in two prior years. So um, I haven't visited yet, but uh, now that I've seen that, I'm definitely really interested in going to see that. So I'm going to ask you all to uh, unmute yourselves. And can I ask you all, please, to give a lovely warm welcome. Good. 
Right, I'm now going to mute you all. All set? Yes, excellent. Right, well, thank you very much for inviting me into your living rooms, dining rooms, kitchens, studies, one or two perhaps bedrooms, but I don't think we'll go there. <laughs> um, this evening, talk is entitled The Brilliant Baraginaceae starring the pulchritudinous pulmonarias.